of what we've been doing, and then we're building on it. So the move tonight looks more complicated than it is. It's a really good option for when we've been practicing in the close guard this week, breaking our partner down, but guiding their elbow across the center line as we do it to open up a whole series of attacks from here. So if you're new or haven't done this yet this week, we're starting close guard. Partner has their hands on my hips to prevent me from knee pulling them. We want to break them down. We're constantly wanting to break somebody down in the close guard and start to keep their posture broken. We can work angles and then we can start to attack. They want to be up. So when they brace on my hips, this stops my knee pull. So in order to beat that, we've been working this one series. We're grabbing right behind the elbow on the same side, thumb down on the wrist. I'm raising my hips to pop this grip and pass the elbow across. And then once the elbow's across the center, I do a big knee pull to my chest to get them their weight to come forward. And we're gonna trap them here by grabbing the lat muscle. I'm extending this arm across their body. And then we use our legs to do a side scissor to scoot our hips out and relock our legs. From here, just a review of what we've done so far. First option is to get up high on our elbow, use our top leg to climb to the back. Option two is as we're climbing to the back, if they try to pull back across the center line, we've been trapping the elbow and then working to sweep our partner across to the far side. Let's do another option that comes up quite often. As I scoot out, I get up, I start to climb. About right here, I see my partner posting on the mat. Post on the mat with your arm. As I'm climbing, they're trying to get high. And maybe I'm having, maybe not trouble, but I just see this arm right here. I can go for this arm for an arm lock. Okay, so we're using that top leg. We're climbing, we end up right here. I'm gonna now hook inside the arm. I'm gonna start to lower my head I'm gonna bring my body perpendicular. You guys see what I'm doing here? I'm now perpendicular to my partner. Look at my knee aiming down towards the mat. This is holding me up on her back. My hand is here helping. What I'm gonna do is insert my knee right next to her head, putting the shin on the back of the head, and then I'm gonna lower my hip to the floor. Guys, this shin, we're pushing their head down under their ribs and my leg that's under their torso is pulling up in this direction. Right here, if they don't have a grip on their own arm, I have their arm extended. They're in really big danger of getting finished with an arm bar right here. So most people are gonna start to roll. If they don't choose to roll, the grips on my legs are kind of forcing them to roll. My free arm is ready to catch their leg. Right there. Right when they roll, I have their leg, I slowed them down. My knees are pinched tight. I'm gonna do one hip escape to put my knees towards the ceiling, and then I can swing the leg over the head. Then we have the arm bar right here. So I'm raising my hips, passing the elbow across, big knee pull, grabbing the lat and scooting out. If you're new, haven't done this yet, start there. If you can get that, now, we can start climbing up on the back. If you're brand new, you can just get familiar with getting behind your partner. That's totally fine. If you've been here and you kind of understand what we've been doing, as you're climbing, we're gonna to start to turn our hips towards the floor. Catch the arm, make sure that I position myself 90 degrees. If you need to walk your hand, you'll have to walk the hand, catch the arm, put your head down. Knee right to the side of the head. Once I get here, I lay to my hip to fold the head under and I use my leg to roll them. Go back. If they're refusing to roll, usually they have a grip on their own hand defending their arm. You can force them to roll by grabbing the far leg and pulling it. If I can't reach the far leg, I grab the near leg until I can reach the far leg and then I turn them, flip them. Now we're right here. That little hip escape happened, leg over the head. Then we just gotta work to separate the arms. We'll talk about that. Any questions, feel free to ask. So hips up, arm over, knee pull. 
scoop my hips up, heavy leg on top, I climb, I pivot, I attack the arm, head down, shin to the side of the head, here we go, boom. Does that make sense? We need to see it again. One more time. Let me know if you wanted to point out any detail. Once I get to here, elbow, top leg heavy. At any point, I can choose the switch for that arm. Once I do, 90 degrees. Notice, yeah, bottom leg is clamping. My top leg knee is pinching. And the position that I hold myself in is here. See this top leg, knee down. From here, I'm like wedged in tight on my partners helping me hang from them. And I make it easy on myself by just putting my head down. And now, one, two, here we go. When you get to that position right before you make her roll, can you just hip into her arm and- Oh yeah, you could, yeah. yeah. Do a back roll. If you get here in real life, yeah, you can finish your armbar right there. But I wouldn't finish it facing the floor. Okay. Fall to your hip and finish here. The only chance they have to survive is to roll, so always be ready. It's coming. Unless they just literally can't roll, then they'll have to tap there. Be prepared for that too. Partner, when you are about to roll, turn your head away so that you can roll over your shoulder. If you try to, you'll do this, you know, see, this will hurt. I see it all the time, it's like natural instinct for some reason, but it'll so look away when you roll. Let's start right close to 